In the world of being a content creator and a filmmaker, the daily struggle of organizing gear has become a never-ending battle. You may have everything you need. A tripod, a gimbal, tons of batteries, a beautiful set of lenses, just to name a few. With that, there will be days that your mind will still forget everything that you have and eventually you will leave something at home when you're out on a shoot and then you realize how unorganized piece of shit you are. Okay, so here's my problem. For the most part, I don't have a system. I just go with the flow most of the time based on how I work most days. I will occasionally leave something somewhere and by the end of the day, we'll eventually forget about it. The result, uncharged batteries, messy cables, stuff all around the house. Very inefficient workflow, very unproductive day, and it's driving me nuts. So I have a plan. Here is a cabinet that we got from Ikea that is currently situated in our living room area. Now, as of now, this is where I currently store all of my gear, the hard drives, cables, batteries, all that kind of stuff. Now, you're probably wondering, why the heck would I use an Ikea cabinet just to store all of my camera gear? Even though there's tons of better options out there just for storing camera equipment. Three things. One, we purposely bought this cabinet because we think that it'll fit the vibe and aesthetic of our living room area. Two, my wife is probably gonna kill me if I ever decided to replace this furniture with another furniture just to store all of my camera gear. Because again, the cabinet is already part of the living room. Three, I wanted my storage solution to be discreet. This cabinet fulfills it. With all of the things that I have right now, it's pretty easy to make a mess. So if I put all of the equipment inside that cabinet in an organized manner, I shouldn't worry about the visual clutter anymore. Before I got my hands dirty, I began planning. It took me a little over two weeks to just research watch other YouTubers, how they made their own cabinet organization system before I even came up with my final plan. Now I used SketchUp Web to plan out the entire thing. And no, I'm not sponsored by them. This is just what I use if I'm building something from scratch or whenever I'm trying to make something like this cabinet. Take note, I'm not a professional builder. I'm just a DIYer. Therefore, I really don't know if everything that I'm doing here is up to standards. I'm just eyeballing most of the stuff, really. But hey, if it works, it works. So here's the plan. There are three spaces, the top, the middle, and the bottom. I will use the top as a drawer charging station. Now I have a couple of MDF boards laying around, so I'll use that. The middle space will serve as a storage space for all of the knickknacks and small gears in it, etc. That will hang from the top part and I'll place some clear bins inside of it and I'll place all of the hard drives and the printer beside it. Now the bottom space, I'll just leave it as a space for me to grow into. Who knows, I might, might have an extra gear coming up and I'll be able to use that space. And with that all said and done, here is the final makeover of the cabinet. start on the very bottom. Now I know I said earlier that I'm not gonna use the space for now. I lied. Apparently I found some additional gear inside the apartment that it just makes sense to just put them in here too. So this case is for the eye guide. It's a house measuring tool that I use for work. And right beside it are two um, bins. They're actually the box for the slider that I'm currently using and I just use them as organizers for this. So this one are for the straps and some lavalier mics. And the other one are for the flashes and some flash accessories. That's it for the bottom part. Now let's go up a bit. Now for this area, this is where all of the hard drives, the printer and the two hanging shelf are sitting. So I got two hard drives for my work. One of them is full already and one I current, I'm still currently using it for backups. Three personal hard drives that's sitting right beside the two big ones. And I do still access them from time to time whenever I want to access some old files. And right in front of the hard drives is this drive dock. I've put this in front of the hard drives 
just so the cables are easy to access and it's easy for me to turn it on as well because the button is just right here now with this arrangement i don't have to keep digging through some cables and some stuff just just to access these hard drives printer self-explanatory i don't need to explain that now let's talk about the two hanging bins right on top of them now these two hanging wire shelves are from ikea so on this side this is where i store um, some of my vintage lenses and a couple of um, acrylic bins that I have no use for it for now and a, um, a bag just for all of the cables that I use and on the right side inside of it I got two um, acrylic bins that I got from HomeSense now this is where I store some of the miscellaneous items like the cables, the filters, um, an extra phone and some of the lens hood is right on the back of this bin. Now let's check out the most interesting part of the cabinet. Okay, so there's a bunch of stuff laying in this drawer. So I'm gonna go through them one by one. So on the left hand side of the drawer, this is the used battery section. So whenever I'm done with a shoot or during the day, I just toss the batteries in here. Now on the right hand side bin, this is where all of the charge batteries goes. Pretty self-explanatory, just so I know which batteries are the charge ones, so I just could grab them anytime. Powering all of these chargers is a power bar that I got from Canadian Tire. Now it has six outlets and two USB outlets as well, and it's more than enough for what I need. Now let's talk about the chargers. Now this charger is specifically for the batteries for the flash that I'm currently using right now. Going near the outlet is the charger for Design Crane gimbal batteries. Now this is the only charger that I've put a magnet right behind it because from time to time I tend to bring this during the day and charge it on the road and when I don't need it I just put it back in plug the cable hassle free and this is a Canon charger kind of battery charger I just put it in here just in case but most of the time I will always bring this um, in the car and I have this free space for me to charge the drone remote control and now you might be wondering why is the drone battery sitting horizontally well, I did this because whenever I push in the drawer back the drone battery will hit the part of the cabinet and it will not go in. I figured the best way to alleviate that problem is that arrange it horizontally and that way I could push the drawer into the cabinet without any problems. Side drone just is a charger for the GH5 and a charger for um, some NPF batteries. Now these two chargers share, share the same cable. It's a pretty rare occasion that I use and charge them at the same time. So what I did is just, whenever I need to use this, I just unplug this and change their position. And the GH5 is now free and now I can use the NPF charger. Now the best part about this is with all of these things happening here in the drawer with just one push of the drawer, it's now hidden out of sight. As I've said earlier, I'm not a professional builder. I still encountered some problems during the build. Like for example, um, the drawer has already left a mark on the cabinet door because I didn't measure things properly. But this I can live with. And also now that I have the hanging storing wire shelves, the cabinet door does not sit flush with the seam of the cabinet, which again, not really a huge problem. I'm pretty happy with how the cabinet turned out. It's a lot more different than the previous one, which was not really ideal. It was a huge mess. And now it's a lot more efficient. Everything has its own place. I don't have to worry about digging through stuff before I even use the certain thing. Now this setup is not really permanent yet. Um, it might still change depending on how I use the cabinet, but I'm pretty excited to use it this coming days and see if it really made a difference on my workflow. And if you got something out of this video, drop a comment below. I would love to know your thoughts about this build. And I would love to know if you're planning to build one. That's all for today, shooters. Peace out.